Hey, this is David Reby. I'm up at the uh, makerspace called The Forge at the North Branch Library with the technology librarian, uh, Trey Ford. And the last uh, few videos, I've been talking about the Max 7219 and uh, LED matrices. And I was going to shoot a video to show you how I could use that to control seven segment displays. But then I thought, well, let me back up a second and talk a little bit about why we need something like that for the seven segment display and the reason comes into the fact that seven segment displays are always multiplex for example if you look here on this page we have um, eight or excuse me we have four digits and each of them is going to have the seven segment display plus a decimal point so to turn one of these on can require eight lines now if you had eight lines going to each of these devices that would be 32 lines which well, you're going to run out of ports very quickly. So what they have traditionally done is, in a case like this, in fact, if you even look at the packages where you have four of these digits together, you'll find usually at least 12 pins, four of which are designated for each of the digits. The other eight would be for the segments to turn on for that digit. So to actually display a number here, you would output which of the digits you want or segments you want to turn on and then drive the digit which those segments go to. Uh, and when we do this at a very fast pace, say go through here and turn this one on for five milliseconds, then turn it off, then turn this one on for five milliseconds and so forth, it gives the, uh, due to our persistence of vision, it looks like the entire uh, all four digits are displaying a number without any flicker. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other advantage in to reducing the port lines or the number of lines needed to drive those is that it will um, reduce the amount of current because the max current that you would ever be drawing will be that of one digit. But as you see this is still tying up quite a few lines from the Arduino plus the code of the Arduino has to be uh, tied up with doing constant refreshing of the display. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come into using a controller for this, which in this case, we were been talking about the, um, let me move this up so you can see it better. Come back a little bit. This is the uh, 7219, which it has lines for displaying, selecting which digit, and this one can actually control eight digits from one device, and then it has its segment lines, which those will go to every digit, it parallels all of them. And when it's displaying a number, the software will simply, or, or the library we're using to control it, will write one byte to tell it an operation code in most cases saying which digit to activate and then the next byte will have the actual data that's going to be displayed. And let's just see how that actually works here. I have here this uh, is two four digit seven segment uh, modules and the actual segment lines are uh, connected in common for each of them and then coming along here you are the actual uh, device select lines and we're using 17219 to control it. Let me plug and I basically have a program here that's just uh, displaying some data across the screen across those segments and let's supply some power here from the USB So at any one time, what you're seeing on the screen there, or the display, is only one of them is being activated. 